I just returned from a van rally, or a truck-in as they like to call it, in Bevere, Missouri. This truck-in was put on by Don and Becky Noon and the crew at Vantasia Vans. The next van rally or truck-in that I'll be attending is the 50th Van Nationals. It's being held in Sterling, Colorado, July 5th through the 9th. This should be an incredible event. The only requirement is that you have a van to get in the gate, um, and they're expecting over a thousand vans there this year. So it should be an incredible time with some great vans. And if you've never seen any of these show vans in person, it's really, really something. I hope to see you there. Today I'm gonna share with you some of the people some of the most incredible vans. The creativity in this group blows my mind. It was fun for me to be there this time. It's like I felt like I had my tribe. The first time I went, I didn't really know anyone. It was fun in my group that I camped with. It was a combination of van life people and vanner people. So I had Lorena and Mickey from my van life community and then Steve-O and Howard and Mary from my vanning community. So I love combining those two worlds. There's always lots of characters that show up at the van rallies. <laughs> There's always Rickshaw Willie, who you never know what he's gonna show up wearing, everything from a pickle outfit to a Mr. Peanut outfit to a wig or a wolf's costume or absolutely anything in between. so many cool rigs and cool stories that you get to be involved in whenever you go to these events. And as I go through this section, I want to apologize if you had a van there and it's not included in this video. Sometimes I do this where I press the play button, but it doesn't press play. And then I think I'm recording and when I'm finished, I press what I think is stop but it's actually play. So sometimes I end up getting the gravel when I'm walking around and I totally miss what I'm trying to capture. <laughs> so my apologies if your van was there and it's not in this video, I probably had a moment like that. Part of what I love about going to these is the stories that you get to hear. This was the first time that I had seen this rig. I don't know if it's a truck or a van or a combination of the two, but it was originally built by this guy's grandson who built it for his grandpa and he wanted to go with a purple theme because his grandpa had been awarded a purple heart. And this one had a really cool feature that I hadn't seen before. It had these ghost horses painted on the back of it. And you could barely see them unless you got right up to the van and took a look. But I thought they were so cool. I'm always blown away by the van pirates of the caravan. The attention to detail in this thing is crazy. And just when I think that Don and Becky couldn't figure out anything else to do to the van, they figure out something else to do to it. Tim has owned this van since he was 17 years old. He bought it new in 1977 and it was his daily driver till the 80s. Then he parked it in a garage and just left it there for 30 years. A few years ago, he got it out, did some mechanical updates. This van is basically the same as it was when he had it when he was 17 years old. 
I actually interviewed Tim and did a full tour of his van on my channel. If you haven't seen that, you should go back and check it out. It's pretty cool. This van is called the Roamer and it's owned by Richard and Pam. This is another van that this couple has owned for years. So it's so fun to go back and look at the photos of them, you know, from back in the 70s. And then they're still driving the van and they're still going to truck ins. And I just think it's so cool. This is Mary's van. She was in my camping group and I loved when I walked up to the back and saw my Becoming Bev sticker on it. <laughs> my van is a crossover between show van and van life. So my van is totally functional to live in and be in for extended periods of time, but it's also um, got some really cool features like some of the show vans do. This van is called Star Dreamer, and I love the cabinet work in here with the mirrors and the woodwork. These custom interiors really blow me away. I'm so impressed with people's creativity. And I just love all the shag carpet in here. I saw a sticker once that said, shag carpet changed my life. <laughs> Devo's van toy box will forever be a favorite of mine. I remember the first time I saw it and I just literally, my chin hit my chest, like talk about a drop jaw van. When I see this van, I just think of a little Hot Wheels that you might find in your toy box. So I think he appropriately named it. Now this is Party Marty's van and it's called Whiskey Sundown. And the detail and the woodwork in this van is incredible. the purple tufts in this van and the purple sofa. They're so cool. I love the bed nooks that they've put in here. And at some point, I'm going to interview Jer and get the story from his van, Copper Penny. this crazy van and it's actually for sale if you're interested. Vanners love their stickers and they love their patches and it's so cool. Some of them have quite a collection of them. This truck in Spring Fever Dino Van won the best theme, and you can absolutely see why. This van is called Goat, and I have no idea why he named it this. <laughs> close attention to this van. It's a Ram Pro Master 2500 like my new van. And it's also a crossover. So you could do van life in here and go to the van shows. And yes, I'm a firm believer, home is where you park it. A good time was had by all. I wanna say thank you to Don and Becky Noon and Vantasia Vans for creating such a fun get together for us with great music, fun games. Saturday night, we had a toga party. I got my bunny hat out.
you for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you got a kick out of seeing some of these incredible vans and the creativity that goes into them. And we'll see you on the next video.